Hey you guys, I am going to redo this video because the previous one I went way too in depth and it was way too long. So if you want a more in depth video, please comment down below and I will definitely make you one. Um, right now though, I'm going to talk to you about the beginner basics of how to make a song. I will also say that every genre, every band, every song has a different style. So this is not a one-all, fix-all kind of thing, but I will tell you how I started to write my own material. So when I first started writing bass, um, truthfully, I would just get the guitar tab and I would play on my E string what that guitarist was playing on their E string, their low E string. And I would kind of mimic that from the E to the A string and all that things, or all those things. Um, but I will say this is not a permanent way to play bass. Every style is totally different, like I said before, and I did this for a metal band and I got away with it. Now if I was in a blues band, a jazz band, this would be 100% different. But for those of you who need to figure it out quickly, I'd recommend that. Um, the great thing about when you advance in your bass playing skills is you really realize your purpose of playing the bass. Bass is there to tie together the guitar and the drums. So we are the metronome, so to speak. Um, so, you know, practicing with a metronome, um, playing in key, learning your scales, because right now, like what I do is I will use my Guitar Pro 7.5, uh, which is also a great thing to do if you're new to this. And I will follow their tab and I'll branch off of it with scales and such of that nature. But playing in key is pretty much what a key is condensed is the scale of notes you're playing a song around. And you guys can read about this online. It's great now that that's a resource. Um, but it's pretty much that foundation of your notes. Another thing is when you play a song, you want to... Uh, you know, really, like, I never watch for my BPMs, I was out of time a lot. Now I, like, I'm OCD about my BPMs, my beats per minute, what are they? Um, my time signature, things of that nature. And Guitar Pro is a great way to utilize that also. And the more you play around with the software and the system, you get more familiar with it and comfortable. Um, but this is really, it's, it's a lot to try to explain because I don't know what level of playing you guys are at. Um, I don't want to talk to anyone like they're stupid. None of you are stupid, but everybody has a learning curve, so I don't want to lose you in saying too much about music theory. But yeah, um, the more and the great thing about like learning skills and things of that nature is when you get comfortable, you can always branch out from that. And I think the main part I want to explain in this video is you can't necessarily always hear the bass if you're not a bass player but but people can always feel it and that's inevitable that is part of your job so if your bass is out of time your entire band's out of time um, so sometimes especially if you're new it's better to be on time consistent and on point than it is to be flashy and loud and trying to do bass solos and there's nothing wrong with that at all, but you really need to master the basics before you start shredding the fuck out of your bass. Because I've been guilty of this, and I've also been guilty of playing the fuck out of time like crazy. Um, but I hope that helped you guys out. If anything, follow your guitar player and what they're playing until you can learn your own skill. It will come naturally, and I'll show you like a video of me playing the song on the spot, first time hearing it, so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about, but it's very hard for me to explain without playing and talking about it. So I hope this helped you guys out, and good luck.